Okay, the next example is of a little bit bigger subnet that how we can find the number of IP addresses in this kind of slash 16 slash 14 type of subnet. Formula is same. We want to find total number of hosts. So 2 raised to power h, 2 raised to power h means 2 raised to power 32, 32 why because total bits are 32 and we want to subtract the given mask and the given mask is definitely this which means 16. So 2 raised to power 16 and 2 raised to power 16 we already know that 2 raised to power 16 is always 6, 5, 5, 3, 6. So these are total number of IP addresses, right? Total IPs or total hosts. And if we want to find usable, so out of this, let me give it a different color. So out of this, the usable number of IP addresses will be 2 raised to power h minus 2. So which means 65, 5, 3, 6 minus 2, which gives us a number 6, 5, 5, 3, 4. So these are usable and these are total number of IP addresses. So formula is same. Let's see the solved version of this example, which is this one. So here, same like I showed you, we want to find total number of hosts. So we have to use this formula 32 minus given mask and given mask here is 16. So 32 minus 16 is 2 raised to power 16, which gives us this number. You can use calculator and then if we want to find the usable host then we need to minus 2. So this kind of subnet will give us 65,000 which means we should use this kind of subnet where we have 65,000 computers or cameras or printers including everything. But if your network is small we should use smaller one maybe class C. And if it's a point to point link. So point to point link usually is between routers or devices. So here we always use slash 30. So slowly by slowly you should learn about how to use which kind of subnet where. And then there are some exercises after this which I want you guys to do a lot of exercises in this whole series and you will become expert only if you follow all these exercises. So question 5.5, 5.6, 5.7 how many total hosts are there in this network so you can use the same formula what would be that 2 raised to power 32 minus given mask and what is given mask here 2 raised to power 32 minus 24 which means 2 raised to power 8 and then you can calculate similarly here 2 raised to power 32 minus 8 2 raised to power 32 minus 30 and so on so also you might have observed that the subnet whatever subnet it does not matter what matters here in number of hosts is the slash notation means the subnet mask because the number of IP addresses be, uh, belong to this one we can calculate from here. So you have to do exercise 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 11, 12, 13 all of this then it will become a very useful tool for you that how you can calculate maximum number of hosts. I showed you the calculator already. If you can also use to find the total number of hosts and total number of usable IP addresses of network walks. So you can use this calculator as well. Let's say you want 512 and your subnet is let's say 192.168.0. Dot dot, let's say uh, 96. This is your IP address. So your subnet will become let's say maybe 135. So your subnet will become you want 512 for example or let's say this one so your subnet will become 192.168.0.0 slash 23 if you want 64 IP addresses let's say so you choose 64 and then your subnet will become this one 192.168 so slowly by slowly you need to do the exercises with your own hands first and then you move to the calculator once you become expert no need to use the manual calculation the manual calculation is just to train your brain that how the calculation happens actually so in the next phase in the next module of this series we will learn that how we can calculate the range range means that what is the first ip address and the last which we have been discussing that it will give us four ip addresses so what are those four ip addresses so we will calculate in the next phase but please do all the exercises until here so that you become expert